everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be doing a prospect analysis series video, and we're going to be doing the first, and we're going to be doing it on the Pittsburgh Pirates. We're gonna see who are their potential starters in the near future, and who I think might start in their near future, and we're just gonna be doing a look at their Pittsburgh Pirates future. It might not be as bad as you it seems. So here's the Pirates farm system, and they do have Cabrian Hayes at the top, who's going to be the third baseman, no doubt, for the next 10 years. And um, let's just move to the second prospect, which is Nick Gonzalez, because he's been so, so, so good. And I think that he will be their second baseman of the future. And honestly, you can just look at his stats. He has a 900 OPS two home runs, and what he did in the elevation was not a fluke, just like Nolan Arenado. And let's go to the third prospect, who's Quinn Priester. Now, he isn't doing that great in A-plus ball, but I still think that he can rebound. And once he can get those numbers up, and I think that he'll start gaining some leverage. He was a really, really, really early draft pick, I think 18th overall, and I think that he'll be pretty good. Now, um, O'Neal Cruz is a guy that the Dodgers traded, and I think he just has the biggest power potential in the history of the world. He is, his power is through the roofs, along with his arm. And I honestly think that he might have to move to third base, which is bad because they have Brian Hayes, so I think that they'll probably use him as a trade chip. Or they move him over to someplace, I don't know, maybe outfield, because he's not going to have any room in this infield with Brian Hayes and Nick Gonzalez. And let's move to the next player, Leover Poguero, because he is real, real, real good. And he was acquired in the Starling Marte trade, along with Brandon Malone, who I'll talk about later in this video. But he's just been so, so, so good. I mean, when you look at his stats, and yeah, I know he's been struggling this year, uh, just barely over 700 OPS. But last year, he had an OPS of like 900. And... Uh, with five home runs and not even a full season. And I think once he gets a full season in, he'll have a real, real, real good season. And I think that trade for um, Starling Marte is looking super duper good because of this guy and Brandon Malone. And so our next prospect is Hudson Head. And by the way, I think um, Leover Poguero will be their shortstop of the future. So we already got their middle infield. And let's go to Hudson Head, who I think is going to be a great prospect. He was one of the highly rated prospects and he fell all the way to the third round. And the Padres made it for the second straight year, the highest signing bonus for a third round pick. And this was the first of the two years. And I just think that he's very, 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 very good. So our next player is Tihani Thomas. I think that's how you say his name. He has a really good fastball at a 65 grade. And I think he's a pretty good player. And he was acquired by the Indians. But I don't really know if he can perform because this season he's been pretty bad with a 4.58 ERA. But last season, in the last season that he played actually in 2019, he had a 3.7 ERA and showed flashes in those 12 starts. But I think once he gets into a full season, and he starts learning a little bit more. His fastball will be played more. And I think that he'll develop into a nice pitcher. But I don't think that he'll be better than this next guy, Brandon Malone. He was the Diamondbacks' 33rd pick, which is basically a first-rounder. And in three games, 
3.2 innings. And now I do not think that he'll actually be a starter because he hasn't really been a starter in the minors. He's had three starts and 10 appearances. And in those 10 appearances, he's only had 11.2 innings. So I don't think that he can get the innings up, but that's a thing that he needs to work on. Now, in those three appearances this year, he's been so good. He hasn't allowed a run, except a thing to note about is his, opon is his opponent average and his whip are up which is um, pretty bad from last year where he had a 4.50 ERA, but his av opponent against average and his whip were down. And honestly, I think that he'll probably be a great bullpen piece for the Pittsburgh Pirates. And so we have two starters, an outfielder, and our shortstop, second baseman, and third baseman. So all we're looking for is a third baseman, two outfielders, and a nut, and one or two more pitchers. So Travis Swaggerty is a guy that was so highly touted. He was the 10th overall pick, and he hasn't worked out that much. But he's had a nice start in AAA. And this is against competition that is way better than A-plus ball. But he was worse than A-plus ball. He's already up to three home runs in 12 games. And he, yes, he has, an, he has an OPS a little bit under 750. Or over a little bit over 750. But he just has so much talent. And if he can put it together, I think he'll be a starting outfielder for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Now, as we get later into this video, we're just going to be doing, like, prospects that I think are going to be good. Now, let's start with Carmen Molzinski. Because, as you can see, he was the 31st overall pick. And he's just been tearing it up in A-plus ball. A 0 0.84 ERA, and most importantly, a 1.84. 0.73 um, opponent average, and also Michael Uger, he's had a nice start with the Pittsburgh Pirates this season, along in AAA, but he hasn't been um, Jamison Tyon-like, which is better than him, and Eddie Yeen, he's just been terrible, but he has a little bit of potential, and he might bounce back, he might not, and... I think that this next player, Nick Garcia, will definitely be a steal for the Pirates in the third round. He was a small school player, but he's very, very good. And he, as you can see, he's pretty good. He has a 2.95 ERA and seven appearances. And I think he might actually be a starter if he can turn it up. And our last but not least player Andy Rodriguez. He is a very, very, very good player. And he's a catcher and an outfielder. He um, he has a lot of potential. And let's see him unleash it. Okay, so the Pirates have a lot of intriguing options. They could go with the shortstop out of Eastlake, California, Marcelo Mayer. And to keep in mind, he has a commitment to... Um, Southern California, which isn't the biggest commitment, which is very good when you're scouting prospects. He has a nice hit grade, and his power is going to play, along with his defense, which is top tier. Um, he has a little bit of below average speed, but he can develop that. And a guy named Jordan Lauer, who has a commitment to Vanderbilt, he has um, similar traits to Marcelo Mayer, except he is going to be hard. It's going to be really hard to commit to get him to sign with you because he has that Alabama commitment or not Alabama Vanderbilt commitment. And I think that he is a very, very, very nice po prospect. And here we go into the a pitcher named Jack Leiter, who many scouts thought that if teams didn't think of his signability concerns, he could 
be drafted in the first round. Now, he has an amazing fastball, a nice curveball, and slider changeup, but he needs to work on his control a little bit. And I think overall he's a nice prospect, along with Henry Davis, but Henry Davis does not seem like he has the best hitting ability with um, a 55 hit and a 55 power, and his running is 40. He seems like a Shia Langoliers with a nice arm at 70, but his fielding is at 45, so there's a lot of warning signs there. And another option is Kumar Rocker out of Vanderbilt, who also like Jack Leiter, could have gone in the first round in the 2018 draft, but he slid because of signability concerns, and he has a nice fastball, nice curveball, nice slider, and about the same amount of control as Jack Leiter, but his changeup is a little bit worse. But I think that he has a lot of potential, and scouts rated him as the number one prospect going into this year. But anyways, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like, and comment in the comment section down below. And I want to know your thoughts and feelings about this video. And we are so close to 50 subscribers. So please subscribe and also comment on what I should do next. I did the Pittsburgh Pirates because they were the favorites to get the number one overall pick this year. Obviously, it's probably going to be the Diamondbacks now. But tell me who you want to go in-depth on their prospect system next in the comment section down below. Anyways, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like, and comment in the comment section down below. And anyways, peace out.